one thing i love about teslas is because of the constant updates that it pushes across all teslas and uh, the better piece of it is because the updates are actually free you don't have to pay for them so in today's video i'm going to be going over tesla's latest update and this was pushed about two days ago i got it updated and i want to review it on the tesla model y are you ready let's jump right into the video This is obviously still not version 11, which a lot of us have been waiting for. So uh, as you can see on this version, if you're very familiar with the Tesla uh, user interface, you're going to realize that this looks already very different. The first thing you can identify here is that this driver section here is a little bit wider. In the previous one, it was kind of small. It was smaller and the map section was uh, wider. The other major change on this screen is going to be this bottom section here. All these icons now initially we had things like you know the the, the camera and you know this cause icon here they were they were actually a little bit above this line but now everything uh, it's on the bottom of the screen which i think it's uh, pretty easy to access so that's really great the other aspect here we see is the gear selector here this here used to be horizontal but now it's in a vertical position but one thing I do not like about this is when you select a gear, when you select, for example, if I go to drive, right now it's on drive, but you can't really tell because none of these are actually highlighted. So I think they would have to like, you know, make it really stand out so that, you know, if you're on drive, then you should be able to know that you're on drive. I think that would be great. Another main thing that has changed here is actually the, the, the car itself. In the previous version, the car would face, you know, straight. But now these buttons are actually grayed out. Even though they are grayed out, they still work. You just need to press it, then it's going to show that it's open. So I think it's kind of cool to like, you know, have it, have it this way. All, all these buttons still work. Yeah, the trunk now it's open. So it's, it's, it's really good. And another change here is going to be the, the, the battery life. Right now it's all grayed out. But based on this, you can still see how much uh, uh, how much battery you have left. But it's not like the previous one. The previous one will show, you know, the battery level to be green. This one is it's gray. And obviously the lock button here. In the previous version, the lock button was just right here. But now you can easily like just click that, then it, it locks the car. Now going to the software update list itself. Now this is what the release notes look like so you can easily see like the previous version now it's more in the list but in the previous version they had it all in the bottom so i think this view it's, it's actually better and pretty much if you select an option here then you'll be, you'll be able to see like the description of what has actually changed so now looking at this latest version which is going to be the 2020.48.30 so looking at this we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight changes that was made for this uh, specific update release the first one is going to be that release note improvement which is pretty much like the display of this release notes right now the second and the, the, the second third and fourth update these are all games and we have the the battle of polytopia if you click on that then you're going to see what the game is all about we have the cat quest which is another game and interestingly we also have the solitaire which is just amazing most of these games have just been on phones but it's it's awesome to have this this in a tesla the next thing we're going to see here is going to be the driving visualization improvement which was the layout i was talking about earlier uh, just stay connected shortly from now i'm going to take it for a drive and then we'll, we're going to see how uh, what has actually changed when you drive the car so other than that, we have a schedule departure improvement, which is pretty much just um, if you're planning for a trip, then you can have your car plugged in and it's just going to get ready at the time that you're ready to depart. Another major thing that has changed here is the supercharge display. In the previous version, if you click, if you go to supercharges to see which one is available around you, in the previous version, you wouldn't see numbers like this, but now you're able to see numbers which is going to specifically tell you how many stores are available for you to charge like right here you have a 10 we have a 7 here we have a 5 we have a 7 here so in the past it was kind of hard for you to see 
uh, those those numbers you ha literally have to click on it open it then you know find out what is available but right now it's you know the numbers are there ready to go okay i think it's time to go for a little drive and so we can see the additional things that change in this uh version i just put the car on drive and then obviously you cannot it's kind of hard to tell if the car is actually on drive but it is so i think it would have been better to have this all bought out like you know to have this rear bolt so you're able to tell if the car is on drive or not so here you can see that the speed right now is displayed on the left instead of like you know in the middle like the previous version we all had the speed at which you're driving displayed in the middle and uh, a good thing here is that your set speed and um, the autopilot availability is being displayed everything has been displayed on the same line which I think is really good like you see right here everything is displayed like on the same line and we can also have the speed limit is also displayed here on the same line for visibility I think it's 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 better that way and the turn signal in the previous version they were all like right here in the center but now we have it on the right if you're gonna go right then on the left all the way on the left side of the screen if you're gonna go left so which I think it's it's good and here if you were to set your car on autopilot then you know it's really next to each other which I think is still good so one thing I think would have been better here is if this little section here the driver the driver section here was adjustable I think it would have been better so that if you putting if you're using your navigation you have like you know a better visibility of the map so if I would recommend something, then I would say this section that should be adjustable. You know, you can adjust it to whatever size that you want. That would be, I think that's going to be better. And I do understand that uh, probably one of the reasons why Tesla has increased this section here is because they want the car to be able to detect objects that are around it easily and faster. And they're probably getting the environment for better self-driving. That, that's just my opinion on that. But still, if this section here was adjustable, I think it would be better. So right now the battery level looks all grayed out. In the previous version, the battery level is gonna show green and go to amber if you're kind of running, running out of battery. Then it's gonna turn to red if you're like, you really have to charge. But this one shows gray. I'm not sure if you're running like you know at 20 percent battery life or 10 percent battery life i don't know if that's actually going to change to red or it's going to stay gray so in my opinion i think the previous version was good if you have enough battery then it's going to show green if you're kind of like you know running out then it's going to change to amber then red i think that was better and the icons here is kind of good because you really have like quick access for example if i were to look at the back of the car then it's it's easier just to go ahead and click, but in the previous version, you had to you know, navigate through a couple of uh, pages before getting to this screen right here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was pretty much it about this update release. And um, if you really want to be updated about the big update that is coming up, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and definitely hit a like button for this video. And meanwhile, I'll see you guys in the next video.